Thank you. I'm Mr. Laner, and welcome back to Mr. Laner's Math Extravaganza. Yes, the applause are back, and yes, it's, we're sporting a new hairdo today for today's webisode. In today's webisode, we're going to take a look at some of those thermometers again, and we're going to compare some of the data that we see inside those thermometers. Let's take a look at Mr. Laner's class and Mrs. Regan's class and compare the progress they've made so far. In our two thermometers, this is the progress that each teacher's class has made after two days. So on day two, this is the amount that Mr. Laner's class has raised. And after day two, this is the amount that Mrs. Regan's class has made. And their goal is to raise $240. So <clears throat> when looking at this thermometer on the side, I have to try and figure out what fraction of our goal have we completed. Again, using maybe that fraction strip page might help you guys kind of break this out. I know that this looks almost like a fourth. I can almost fit four of these in here. So if I were to break this one up, I could break it up into four equal parts. That would be one fourth, that would be two fourths, this would be three fourths, and this would be four fourths. So if I was looking to find out what fraction or how much money we've raised so far, I would take a look at a fourth of 240. It's the same thing as taking 240 and breaking it out evenly four ways. Well, 240 divided by four, hmm, what would that be? How much would each person get? $60. If I had 60 here, two fourths would then be 120. Three fourths would then be 180. And then four fourths again would be our 240. So, so far, Mr. Lader's class has raised $60. Well, let's take a look at Mrs. Regan's class over here, see how they're doing. Okay, their thermometer looks to be a little bit bigger, but their goal is still 240. If I'm looking at this figure, I could try and figure out, well, how much have they raised so far? Even though it's a bigger thermometer, I can still try and use fraction ships to break this up. And again, I can kind of look and try and eyeball. I can kind of make this into fourths. I can also break my fourths in half. If I find half of a fourth, there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. I now have broken this up into eighths. So this would be one eighth, this would be two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and then eight eighths would be the top because that's our goal of 240. Well now to figure out how much each one is, I have to divide my 240 equally eight times, which is going to be $30. So each eighth is $30. This group has filled up two eighths of the goal. Two eighths of the goal is the same thing as one fourth because they are, you got it, they're equivalent fractions. So after two days, each class has raised the same amount. They both raised $60 based on our comparison using our fraction strips and then dividing out our money each day. Okay, again, here comes the best part. I need you to take out some paper. Grab a pencil. If you have your fraction strip, that might be very helpful to take out as well. And we're going to take a look at a different scenario here. Okay, now we're going to look at a different goal setting. We still have Mr. Langer's class. Yeah, hopefully we win. And we're going against Mrs. Regan's class over here. And now our goal is $360. And it's on day four of the fundraiser. What I want you guys to do at home is to find out what fraction have we accomplished of our goal and how much money have we raised. And I want you to do the same for Mrs. Regan's. What fraction of their goal have they raised? And, how, what, and what progress have they made? And who's achieved more towards their goal? Go ahead and pause that video. Okay. Let's start with Mr. Laner's class. If I was looking at this one here, we have $360 at the top. Again, this is kind of an interesting fragment here of our, or fraction of our whole. If I was trying to break this up, I might notice, I might go from the top. It might be a little bit easier to see. If I go from the top, that kind of looks almost like a fourth again. So this could be a fourth. That would be a fourth. 
and then these two would be fourths. I have four equal parts, so this is going to be one fourth. That's going to be two fourths or half of my picture. This is going to be three fourths, and this is going to be four fourths. But now my goal is three hundred sixty dollars. So if I was going to split three hundred sixty dollars evenly four ways, I have to ask myself how much would each person get? Hmm. If it's a fourth of three hundred and sixty. Well, I have to divide 360 by 4, which would be 90. So that's $90. This would be $180. A good way to check yourself on your math here is when I get to a half, is 180 half of 360? Yes, it is. So I know I've done the correct fractional uh, percentage of the money there. And then 3 fourths, I would add 90 into uh, my 180, which would be 270. Add another 90, I'd get 360. So when looking at Mr. Laner's class, we've raised three-fourths of our goal, which is $270 up to day four. Let's take a look at Mrs. Regan's class. Okay? When looking at Mrs. Regan's class, I can kind of take a look. There's one, there might be two, there might be three. So I might try and divide Mrs. Regan's class into thirds. I could divide this up into thirds. I can also decide, well, maybe I want to take it instead of thirds, maybe I want to make it sixth. So now I cut each third in half. And now I have six. One six, two six, three six would be what again? Oh yeah, it's half. It's an equivalent fraction to two fourths on that side. Four six, five six and six sixths at the top. So now I have to do the same thing. If I have $360 and I divide it up six ways evenly, think to yourself, six times what would give me 360? Uh, hmm, well I know that six times six is 36, so six times 60 would be 360. So one six would be 60, two six would be 120, uh, three six would be 180, again, hopefully you noticed that's half. 180 is half of 360, which is the same as 3 6 on this side. 2 fourths over here was 180, which is the same thing as halfway through. So then 4 6, if I add 60 to 80, I'm going to get 240. 5 6 would then be 300. And 6 6 would be 360. So when comparing my data here, Mrs. Regan's class has raised four sixths or two thirds of the goal, which is going to be two hundred and forty dollars after day four. Mr. Lanier's class has raised three fourths, which is two hundred and seventy dollars. So at this point in the fundraiser, Mr. Lanier's class has achieved more of their goal than Mrs. Regan's class. Yeah, I think we we won this one so far, guys. But we'll see. Well, our fundraiser when we make it to the end, or will Mrs. Regan's class surpass us in the end? We'll have to wait and find out. Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Lander's Math Extravaganza. As always, we'll see you next time. Hot dog.